Welcome back to the Scottabyte channel and this is Scott. So today I wanted to discuss the topic of VPNs. So virtual private networks or VPNs are another name for tunneling. A VPN tunnel is an encrypted link between your computer and another network. A VPN tunnel allows you to conduct business on a remote network with privacy. The most common VPNs you hear about are public VPN services offered by VPN providers like NordVPN, ExpressVPN, Surfshark, and others. Public VPNs don't really protect your privacy. So what does a public VPN offer? Well, a public VPN provider allows you to connect to one of their remote servers. These servers are located worldwide and you should have no expectation of privacy while using them. Your communication is outside of the tunnel once it leaves the VPN target server. An advantage of a public VPN is encrypting your traffic between your workstation and the VPN public server so that your ISP doesn't know where you are going. The biggest advantage of a public VPN is allowing you to perform geolocation spoofing, which makes you appear as though you are in another location or even inside of another country. Using a public VPN on your computer in a public Wi-Fi spot provides relative security by encrypting your traffic on an untrusted Wi-Fi network. So public VPN services provide a level of security through relative anonymity. Never trust a public VPN provider cannot or will not audit your data at their servers. And in fact, many do because it's part of the way to make the business make more money. So what does a private VPN offer? Well, a private VPN is a tunnel from your computer to another network as a destination. The simplest example of a private VPN is a VPN that allows work at home employees to access their employer's network. Private VPNs are secure because they have an exit point inside of a network as opposed to exiting on the public internet, as is in the case of a public VPN provider's server. Private VPNs are a secure way of protecting data from your computer that moves over the internet inside of a VPN tunnel to a destination network that you trust. This prevents data from being leaked to persons on the public internet. So you can have your own private VPN on your small office or home office network. In my video entitled, Self-Hosted Easy WireGuard Server, I review the steps to create a private VPN server of your own at home. The main advantage of having your own private VPN is that when you are using a laptop, desktop, tablet, or phone remotely, you can access the data on your home network just as though you are at home. This access is completely private because the VPN endpoint is inside of your home network and not just some public server. So the oldest and mostly obsolete VPN protocol is something called point to point tunneling protocol or PPTP, which is still a part of Microsoft Windows. Microsoft also uses something called Secure Socket Tunneling Protocol, or SSTP, ever since Windows Vista, but this is also a Microsoft proprietary protocol. Layer 2 Tunneling Protocol, or L2TP, or really more properly L2TP IPsec, is a replacement for PPTP that adds better security. Internet Key Exchange version 2 is like L2TP in that it is paired with IPsec for security, but is very good at reconnecting after communication loss. And I believe really that Internet Key Exchange version 2 is a protocol that we've mostly seen implemented from companies. 
So OpenVPN is an open source protocol for VPNs, which has high security and is very popular today, especially amongst developers, because it allows them to implement and integrate security into their products and know exactly what they're doing. And then WireGuard is also an open source protocol for VPNs, but it adds greater efficiency for traffic compression, making it faster, and it's also very good at reconnecting after communication interruptions. WireGuard uses the latest state-of-the-art cryptography and works well with all operating systems. So what exactly is WireGuard? So although all VPN protocols provide increased security, I recommend WireGuard both for security and for performance. WireGuard is only a protocol and it's not an end user program. The WG Easy program that I featured in my self-hosted Easy WireGuard server video that I mentioned earlier is a simple front end to WireGuard. Many public VPN providers like NordVPN have rebranded WireGuard inside of their products. For example, Nord calls their WireGuard product Nord Links. Some routers and NAS servers are now offering WireGuard gateways built into them. So when you want to access your network remotely, a private VPN is always the safest and also the most secure method. Well, then we also have something called site-to-site -site VPNs. So, so far we've discussed VPNs that basically allow a single client or device to access a remote server or network. Site-to-site -site VPNs are used by companies to connect a network in one location to a network in another location. A site-to-site -site VPN requires that the two networks to be connected have different address ranges. For example, let's say that a company has a location in one city and their network is at 192.168.1. whatever. And let's suppose that they have a building in another city at 192.168.50. whatever. Those two networks have different address ranges and so therefore they would be good candidates for a site-to-site -site VPN connection. Site-to-site -site VPNs allow systems on both sides of the VPN to access all systems on the other side of the site-to-site -site VPN, just as though they're on one big network. I use a site-to-site -site VPN for one of my customers and I use it to replicate their data to their off-site location for added security. So in summary, we looked at the differences in public VPNs and private VPNs. The most secure remote access to your network is via a VPN and not by exposing ports or servers via your firewall to the public internet. It is appropriate to expose very selected services via SSL reverse proxy through your firewall and I've discussed this on the channel and after all my channel is devoted to self-hosting so we talk about the safe way to offer services. And a private VPN is free and can even be implemented on something as simple as a Raspberry Pi. A private VPN secures your remote access to your stuff when you are away from home. And any VPN can secure your communication when you are on a public Wi-Fi network. Anyway, that's it for today. Please subscribe and like to the channel and punch the notification bell so you can be aware of my future videos.